Hi guys and welcome back to another Garage Gamer production. This is Garage Gamer bringing to you my follow-up video for the Cheat Happens Warship Trainer. Let's go see what we can play with. Now, this is another third-party program, Cheat Happens. I really do trust. They're really quite good. They do actually follow up their games, especially if it's in the active position. Um, what I found as well with Warship is because they do update the game quite uh, frequently again still not sure if it's still made by one guy all, all I can say is it's been pretty good so I'll be doing another alien rampage game um, as you can see from my previous video I didn't use any trainers and I got my ass kicked <laughs> so we'll be doing what happens with cheat happens um, again before we start playing, want to make sure that if you're going to play it, play it in the f single player, don't play it with the multiplayer. It can actually cause some problems and it can get you banned. So, as you can see, all six Activated. options. Activated. Infinite health, infinite energy, Activated. super attack, add credits, no reload, in add EXP. Activated. You can see there, Activated. if you press 4, um, again, you'll hear it activate and it will actually add credits. Now, this is really important when you're actually playing games. If you add XP, like before, as you can see, it's a lot better. You do get your more buildings opened up for you. And I always like putting it in evolving so that you do get more video, uh, more levels afterwards. Um, a lot faster, a lot better. And you can actually add more weapons to your repertoire. Now, one of the things I always like using is those missiles, the heat seeking one, because as you can see from my last video, it actually helps. The super attack, you can play it, but again, it does tend to destroy enemies in similar to one shot, maybe one or two shots, so it's up to you. I like prefer playing with infinite health and infinite energy just so that I can fly around if I'm using the walker. Um, the add credits as I said before are quite good. The no reload one you have to be very careful with. I find that it does help but sometimes it stops up the actual build section. Um, add XP again it does help but you gotta be careful when you do it at the beginning. Sometimes it does actually lock out some of the options for building. So, like we'd always um, before, make sure you always build the drilling um, platform. It's still needed to build other stuff, especially when you're building watchtowers. The only thing I didn't like with the game here is that, unlike let's say StarCraft, where you just basically build anywhere, you do need to build it near a pylon for the energy and you really do need to make sure you can only have about three um, buildings with per energy pylon so you just gotta be careful and you gotta be very strategic in where you place it um, since they uh, updated it from the first game that i played the first version they've actually nerfed the building so that you know you do really actually have to play through it and very be strategic. You used to be able to actually build anything you want. Um, this can be very helpful especially near the end when everybody's basically coming at you but you know as long as you make sure that your build queue is still up to date pretty cool. So here we go here's the enemies. As you can see uh, you know you can kick ass very quickly with them and the actual watchtower itself is actually quite powerful so they do actually nerf up when you actually um, increase they really do buff your what am I saying about nerf they really do buff your weapons up as you grow up um, as you level up the only problem that I find with this one is you do have to repair it and because it's a tower defense game at least this map is you have to be very careful that you do actually repair all of your um, towers when you're actually looking at them so you got to be very careful make sure that you can only repair when um, there's no enemies of, um, available so let's see what else we can do more enemies I love the tanks they're durable they're slow to produce but they can take a huge amount of damage before 
you know, before being destroyed. Now, let's go first version view. Oh, you stupid. Okay, there you go. That's just one of the missiles. I haven't actually used any of the heat seeking ones, but I find that if you get the heat seeking ones, a lot better. And as you can see in the actual video, that I am, my actual energy doesn't deplete. Very helpful compared to the last time where basically I'm not doing anything, it's not actually working. Um, really quite helpful. So just make sure that when you actually play it, go with an infinite energy it really really helps um, again one of the other things that I want to point out with this video at least with the game anyway you can't actually have thermonuclear bombs I find that they're quite useless unless you're actually playing the maps where there is an actual base to destroy when you're actually playing um, at the tower defense map like this where you have a time limit it's quite useless and in fact by the time it actually launches the missiles your entire thing would have been destroyed the other thing I don't like about this game is the fact that when you actually press um, that one you actually have to press deploy and sometimes the thing doesn't stick but hey you know still look at this game it's still quite cool still quite um, actually very well made compared to the other indie games that you might see I really recommend actually going to Steam and buying this even if you don't actually get the trainer it's still quite a lot of fun as I said before they're really really quite good at updating the game um, they're adding new stuff adding new bases problem is they're also taking out bases but hey what can you do so um, same deal as before if you wanted to upgrade your weapons again you just have to get your avatar back to the home base I tend not to because by the time you actually quick level up doesn't really matter and it, as I said if you have the super attack it will just actually just destroy every single enemy that might come by so up to you I find that once you actually um, gain enough levels you just play it make sure that your queues are always built that's a big tip that I would want to as you can see the trainers are quite helpful it might overpower you but if you're still not careful with uh, building queues and making sure that your um, base is safe the enemy can still overrun you and they will destroy you something that I've learned when uh, playing the first mission no matter how invulnerable the person uh, my avatar was still got my base overwhelmed cannot emphasize that you do need to um, do the tutorial to work this thing properly because sometimes it can get really quite confusing I hope they really um, update this even further because I think if they add more missions to this game it will be fantastic it it almost has the same um, character feel as Starcraft 2 so you know I hope all the best for the, um, for the developers so guys I hope you like this video um, if you have any questions for me just uh, write it in the comment section please um, like and subscribe if you like this video I'll be doing further more videos in the future I'll try and find um, better games I just got Watch Dogs 2 and Doom so I might be doing another trainer video and playthrough um, game with that at the moment just playing Fallout 4 got the season pass so you know love the game I might do a video on the mods I love modding um, each game so again if you like this video please like and subscribe and yeah see you till next time